what's up? My name's Jed. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Loop Deck have not paid me to make this video. They don't even know I'm making a video. Jeff from Blonde Rover, which is Loop Deck's Australian distributor, lent me the Loop Deck CT to test out for a week and it goes back tomorrow. So Loop Deck, if you like this video and you want to hook me up, I'm here, I'm listening. As a creative in the photo video space, I'm constantly in and out of Final Cut and Lightroom. So naturally with all these different editing suites, Photoshop, Premiere, etc., it's really essential if you want to be crafty and you want to be quick and successful, learning shortcuts is going to be key. Time is one thing that we can never get back and therefore it might be one of the most or probably the most valuable thing in this world. So to spend as little time editing as possible, I always look for little ways that will save me time. This has always led me to perfecting keyboard shortcuts and remembering countless different combos. Loop Deck has taken that sentiment and run with it. They've made a bunch of really cool products which allow us creatives to save a bunch of time and spend more time doing what we want to do. And they're compatible with a wide range of applications. I've had this unit for about a week and like I said, it goes back tomorrow. So take this to review with somewhat of a grain of salt. I always think to properly review a product, you really need to use and abuse it. Put it through its paces and work out what are the kinks, what are the things you like, what are the things you don't like. So take this review with a little bit of salt because this has been a shorter review period than my normal standards. So it's more or less a detailed first impressions. Loop Deck make a bunch of these models. This one right here is the CT, it's the flagship, therefore it costs the most, but it also does the most. You can customize all the different dials, wheels, and knobs to do exactly what you want in the application of your choice. So it can be a really big time saver. I found out straight away that while I was in Final Cut, I tend to edit with my own keyboard shortcuts and I'd revert back to what I knew best because if I'm gonna be honest, I've got the keyboard shortcut game just sewn up. My keyboard shortcuts are tight, I love them, and they're very efficient. Tight like a tiger. So my initial impression was, now nah, this thing's overrated. Perhaps overrated is not the right term, maybe unnecessary is a better way to describe it. This thing is unnecessary. That's what I thought. But alas, I continued to use the loop deck. I pressed on in the name of science. Yes, science! But also to give you a well-rounded review. And while I was doing the said pressing on in the name of science, I found that a lot of my keyboard shortcuts were actually multiple button shortcuts. Let's take copying and pasting settings from one clip to another as an example. To copy the settings from this clip, I would need to hit Command and C, and then to paste it, Shift, Command, and V. And then we'll bring up the dialog box. I check and uncheck what I want to, and I hit OK. That then has pasted those attributes onto that clip. Now with a loop deck, however, what I found, there's a copy and there's a paste attribute section. So I just need to have my clip selected, hit copy attributes, go to my next clip, hit paste attributes, dialog box doesn't even pop up. Those attributes are already on there. So previously with my keyboard shortcuts, five or six buttons turns into two on the loop deck. And this got me thinking, if I'm saving 10 seconds, which look, it might not sound like too much, you might go, that's negligible. But it's reasonable for me to say that I do this action about 40 times a day. So if I'm saving 10 seconds, 40 times a day, it's about six and a half minutes a day. You go, six and a half minutes, that's not that much. Okay, but let's say I work 48 weeks of the year and my editing schedule is about three days a week. That's about 16 hours across my whole year that I save by doing that one shortcut, which saved me 10 seconds every single time. Always wicked smart. Everything adds up. Let's say I find four to five different shortcuts on the loop deck that save me 10 seconds each. I do that same math, I'm saving about 80 hours across the whole course of a year, or 3.3 days, just by using certain shortcuts. Just take a step back and think about that. You could save 3.3 days of your life, of your year, by using a different button pressing technique. That's pretty wild. You might go, this is a really massive over-exaggeration, but it's not. <laughs> that time before you implement that routine did not exist because you were just mashing away. Now, you've got nothing to do in that time. You're finishing projects earlier, you're having fun sooner. That to me is a really wild thought and it got me thinking, I remember seeing a video, I think it was by Dan Mace, who was saying that Casey Neistat changed his routine and started getting up two hours earlier every single day. One hour for productivity and emails, the other hour, family time. Getting the kids ready for school, having breakfast, that sort of stuff. But over the course of a whole year, those two hours a day, equate to 30 days. 30 days of extra time he gets just by getting up two hours earlier. Imagine what you could do with a whole extra month. We might not be gaining a whole month of our life, but we're still gaining time that we didn't have before. But hang on, we're only saving seconds, so let's, let's pump the brakes and let's dial it back a bit. These small savings of times mean that deadlines can be met, jobs can get handed in, we can soon be doing what we want to be doing rather than working. We can be chasing glass and riding donkeys on a beach shirtless with diamonds in our hand. 
Did you know that I'm riding this horse backwards? And it's not just about saving time. If something makes a process easier, then it's very beneficial for that creator to use it. Think about a wooden handle on the side of your camera. You can hold the camera without that handle, but it's easier to balance that heavy camera in your hands with that grip. Or think about a monitor on top of your camera. You can already see those colors and what's happening on the back of your camera, but by putting a bigger monitor on there, things become clearer, the colors become better, the screen's brighter, yada yada. Bars, man, you be spitting bars. This is one of those things, it's just like that. It's designed for this process, it's streamlined, and it's nice and simple to use. Once you know all your different shortcuts. So it's all rainbows and unicorns? Not really. I think probably about three months until you actually get this integrated into your workflow, you remember where all the customizations that you made are, and you really kind of, it's become second nature. Think about how long it took you to learn your current keyboard shortcuts. Now take it off to a keyboard that you're not familiar with, you've not used that shape, those dials before, and you need to customize that and learn that. That's what I'm talking about. But once you understand the keyboard and it's second nature, the thing will be a breeze. You're not gonna get there in a week. So if you buy one and you get stressed, relax. It's all good, it's in the long run. I personally found editing in Lightroom far more enjoyable than editing in Final Cut with the loop deck. The reason being, it's all color based, right? It's all color and exposure. Twisting these dials, you can stop it exactly where you want. If you decide you don't like it, just click in the little toggle and it resets that slider to zero. I definitely see the benefit of editing in Final Cut or Premiere with this once you've got it tweaked and understand your setup. But for me, like I said, a week just wasn't long enough to fully understand that setup and feel like I was editing like a pro with the loop deck. Just wasn't enough time for me to get comfortable with the editing side of things. These illuminated keys up top, very, very handy. Things like mute, detach audio, copy and paste settings, add title, add transitions, things like that, very, very helpful to have at the click of one finger. So this is the loop deck CT and this is their flagship. It is the top of the line. They also do make just the top half. I think that's what probably most people will be looking for. You've got the illuminated keys and you've got your twisty dials on the side to do all your color grading. But for me, I like the big ass wheel in the middle. <laughs> Scrubbing through the timeline, clicking play, you can change your colors from it. I really enjoy that. So loop deck, if you wanna hook me up, I'm all about the big ass wheel. <laughs> so after a week, how do I feel about the loop deck? I see its potential and there's a lot of potential there. I personally know that I just need the time to really learn it and really tweak it and have that memorized for it to be implemented into my workflow. But once it is in my workflow and I know what's going on, I think it will save me a ton of time and make me really efficient. But this is not something I'm gonna tell you that you need to have or you must get to be a better editor. Because at the end of the day, every single thing that the loop deck does, the loop deck does, the loop deck does, the loop deck does, you can do with a keyboard shortcut or with a mouse. This is something, this is a treat yourself. Three words for you, treat yourself. This is something you buy because you think it's gonna make you quicker and more efficient in the long term and you've got the cash lying around. It's not something you have to get to be able to go and do the job that you wanna do. It's like, why does an automatic car cost more than a stick shift? Well, there's been more R&D that's gone into it to streamline that process. So the operator doesn't have to worry about changing gears. They can just sit there, relax, and it'll do the job for them. Obviously, you still need to use the loop deck, but you're saving time and it's a more efficient workflow. So that's the same sort of sentiment for an editor. Automatic cars, loop deck, manual cars, your own custom keyboard shortcuts. So I'll tell you a loop deck, definitely a want and not a need, but if you have a use for it and you have the funds, you won't be disappointed. It's got a great build quality and the app's super simple to use and customize all your different shortcuts. It gets two big fat unnecessary thumbs up from me and speaking about big fat thumbs up, there's a necessary one just down there. <laughs> if you go and hit that like button, it tells other people that this is a cool video and it really helps the channel. I'm very thankful for you guys. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, do the bell thing, and uh, you'll see more of my face. I can tell you about some more cool shit in the future. <laughs> anyway, my dudes, my ladies, thanks so much for sticking to the end of the video. Go listen to The Spark by Enter Shikari. Banging album, very fun. Hit me up on the gram. Let's do this all again next time. See you next time. Bye.
not even gonna double check it. 